Mike with Gorilla Ammunition. Today we're going to be taking you on a tour of our new 62,000 square foot manufacturing facility. Come on. All right, we're going to start here in the loading room. This is where we take our raw components. The process begins uh, by the priming of the empty casings. From there, they're going to go on our loaders. We have several different machines that we use for loading. Um, but from that point, they'll get the, uh, the case to be fed into the machine. Uh, they'll get their powder drops and projectile seatings before you know the measurements of the overall lengths and powder checks. Um, and then we'll get our loaded cartridges. And also in this room, we have our inspection machines, which uh, on the conclusion of the loading process, we'll run through to check for any cosmetic defects, as well as overall geometries, uh, primer orientation, correct head stamp before it goes off the packaging. Our ammunition manufacturing process begins with the priming of an empty case. We have two dedicated priming machines in our loading room. This first one is an alpha load prime and stake, so it's not only able to uh, prime that empty case, but also stake that primer in place. We have an additional alpha load priming machine. This is just a standard primer that'll get about 150 parts per minute. All right, so once we have a prime case, those will make their way to one of our loading machines. Some of the machines we utilize for loading process are these ammo load Mark L's. So the prime case will be fed into the machine. Uh, they are capable of priming themselves, but we get more output by using those dedicated primers I showed you earlier. The case will be fed onto this inline rail uh, before getting an initial powder drop and a final powder drop. Then it'll go through a check for the powder charge weight. Too little powder, too much powder, the machine will stop. Next, it'll move on to uh, having the projectile fed into the case, do an initial seat, final seat before the sensor checks the cartridge overall length. So if the cartridge overall length is too long or too short for our specifications, again, the machine will shut down and stop uh, and the operator will be able to fine tune that. But after it passes that check, the finished cartridge comes off of the machine. So in conjunction with the machine doing these independent checks on the charge weight and overall length, the individual machine operators will also do those redundantly uh, to ensure that we're holding our tight tolerances. So they'll pull off a case after the powder's been put in it, do a manual powder check and take a finished cartridge and measure the overall length at prescribed intervals before logging them in our loading books. These Mark L's are capable of producing 20,000 rounds per shift uh, each. We also have uh, one of our new alpha loads. This is a, another loading machine that the prime case will go in and it'll do those same independent checks when it gets its powder charge weight drop and the uh, initial seat of the projectile and cartridge overall length. We have currently set up on this machine, we're running some 8.6 blackout, some of our 285 grain subsonic fracturing projectiles. And this machine is capable of producing roughly 30,000 rounds per shift. We also have two visual inspection machines that we use. So once we have a fully loaded cartridge, they will be placed into these vibratory bowl feeders and then fed into the machine where we have different stations with sensors that are gonna check everything from the extractor groove, primer orientation and head stamp, overall geometries, look for dents, scratches and dings. This ensures that we're able to deliver a quality product to the end user. When we do smaller lot runoffs, we also have these Mark 7 Revolutions. We have a, a few of these machines. Um, they're great for those small runs, but they still have those sensors within them that are going to check those powder charge weights and overall lengths. And um, they're still capable of producing 10,000 rounds per shift on each machine. Here at Gorilla, we also manufacture our own uh, solid copper turn projectiles. So we have these Swiss screw machines, uh, three of them that We'll feed in solid copper bar stock. Uh, they'll come in and we have drills and saws that'll cut the geometries into the projectile. And based on the type of copper that we're using and the geometries we're putting on them, we can get them to function differently, whether we're manufacturing a fragmenting uh, projectile or an expanding one. We produce a multitude of calibers here in house for these projectiles, everything from 338, 300 blackout, 308, 243, 22, 250, and even pistol calibers like 380 and nine millimeter. All right, so this is our vault. Uh, this is where we'll keep all of our accuracy weapons and the weapons we use for load development. This is also our gunsmith's room where we assemble and build our custom built firearms for our customers. Uh, you can see we've got our different GF-10s and bolt action platforms here hanging on the cage. And 
Yeah, it's always a fun room to be in. All right, so this is our indoor range and ballistics lab. Here we have a universal receiver where we can put our pressure barrels in. So we have a pressure barrel for every caliber that we load. And this uh, pressure transducer here, that's going to read the pressures inside the case itself. Um, so that'll ensure that we're loading to the correct pressures and we have velocity screens down range that will measure the, the muzzle velocity. So we'll shoot them out of this pressure barrel and also our test weapons to make sure that we're loading you know, in our correct specifications. So before those machine operators set up the loading machines each shift, they'll do a small runoff come back here, measure pressures and velocity. If we're good and within spec, they'll go back and start running the machines. And then throughout the day at prescribed intervals, they're gonna stop loading, come back here, redo the process to just ensure that we're, we're holding our tight tolerances. All right, so this is our finished goods room. So after the ammunition has been manufactured and loaded, gone through its inspection and packaged up, it goes here into the shelf. So when you place an online order at GorillaAmmo.com, our shipping department will get it packaged up and shipped out the door. All right, thanks for joining us on this tour of our new manufacturing facility. We hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit uh, behind the scenes of what we do here at Gorilla Ammunition. If you're not watching this on our website right now, I encourage you to go to GorillaAmmo.com and check out the products that you see. Um, you saw us, you know, how we manufacture our rifles, uh, the ammunition that we manufacture in-house, and hopefully you gain a little bit of an appreciation for the quality control that we put in place, the independent checks, and how we control the variables in the ammunition manufacturing process to ensure you as an end user get quality, accurate, and terminally effective ammunition. So please go check out our website. If you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.